Even though the price of Terra Luna Classic is maintaining levels around 8,000 points per coin, things are looking good on that front. We've got some bizarre activity going on with the Layer 1 development team, the Terra Rebels, which now want to be called Hexagon after rebranding, and it is blowing my mind the direction these people are wanting to go with the spend money from the community pool on the Terra Luna Classic blockchain. We've got proposals right now and ideas that are going to be coming up to combine the Layer 1 development team and the Terra Rebels. Remember, just a couple of months ago, the Terra Rebels had a $100,000 plus spend that they used on Discord moderators, told the, the community to buzz off when the community questioned what they were doing with these funds, and, and lost the trust of a lot of members. Now, the Layer 1 development team wants to combine with them wants to join forces with them and they are saying that they're going to keep them under control and you guys have nothing to worry about this is a very dangerous path forward just as dangerous as stealing people's money and burning it with the USTC team and the idea that they've got out there let's talk about it if it sounds like something you're interested in let's get started Let's get started. What's up, everybody? I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2023 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day. We are growing our portfolios together. Now, look, if you guys are brand new to investing, you don't know how or where to buy stocks and crypto, got a link in the description below for Weeble. It is super simple to set up your account. Any deposit, you guys are getting at least six free stocks, up to 12 free stocks, and you're earning 5% on your cash balances. I cannot stress that enough. You guys don't even have to buy a stock or a crypto, and you're earning 5%. More than you're going to get at a bank, so make sure to check it out. If you guys want cryptocurrency exclusive exchanges where you can buy, sell, trade, short, leverage, all that good stuff, you've got KuCoin and Binance down there. KuCoin and Binance, they offer rewards for the more active traders. So the more you trade, the more you're going to earn. But please be aware if you're holding on those exchanges, it's considered a loan to those exchanges. So if you want to mitigate that risk and make it your asset, you need to look at a cold storage or DeFi wallet. Guys, we have got so much going on in the Terra Luna Classic blockchain. I believe, okay, I believe that this is a critical or pivotal moment in, in the future of Terra Luna Classic. We are, we could be on the path for destruction if all of these proposals end up passing here. We could be on the path for destruction. And I know that Terra Luna Classic has been destroyed before and it has risen nicely. So if it does get destroyed again, I don't think it's going to be the end. I think the true lunatics, the ones that want to see a price rebound, will prevail. But they can hit us. They can hit us on the way down. And they can make sure that they do so in extraordinary fashion, like we got going on right now. So... Somebody on Twitter, I want to get this out of the way first because this does deal with the proposal and the idea that we were talking about yesterday with burning 70 plus percent up to 90 plus percent of all USTC and, and burning all of the USTC in dormant wallets, which does not, block, uh, what does not belong to the community or anybody else for that matter, therefore stealing it and burning it. Jim says, uh, Redline Drifter, what are your thoughts on confiscating six-month dormant wallets of USTC and burning it? I respect it tremendously. Awesome. I'm personally not a big fan of this, mainly from a blockchain immutability standpoint, but that's just my opinion, and I can understand why some people would support this initiative. I cannot. Uh, I cannot. Okay? Redline Drifter can understand why some people would want to steal other people's money. I cannot begin to comprehend that, support it, uh, what does he say? Understand it in any way whatsoever. For the community to make an informed decision on the path that we need to take forward, they need to know all of the available options. And that is what Alex is doing. He is laying out all of the available options that will increase USTC repeg's chance of success. But it will be the community at the end of the day that makes the call on whether we pursue these methods or not. Stealing money from people is not an option. The fact that these thieves are even thinking that that is an option goes to show you who is on the USTC repeg team right now. I do not like that one bit. I do not care if you don't think that I, I or you think that I should like that. I will never condone even stealing 50 cents from somebody. Do not do it. Do not let that creep into your mind. And do not think that that is an option for the Terra Luna Classic blockchain. 
That's not what we're focusing on in this video. I want to focus on the fact that Redline Drifter is excited about true decentralization. Multiple teams and organizations working together to achieve a common goal. Yes, maybe to some extent, but uh, no. Because the combination of these teams does not create a decentralized network. It creates a centralized network. It creates a centralized network for Terra Luna Classic where there is no separation. From the Layer 1 team, there is no separation from the Terra Rebels, and one day there will be no separation from the USTC Repeg team as well. So we go on, and we're looking at what's being said here. We've got Vin sharing some exciting news. Thrilled to announce that the Layer 1 team and Hexagon's cooperation. Hexagon is now the... Er, that's what the Terra Rebels are now calling themselves, guys. And and this is the greatest idea that these guys have going on, and, and it's a very, very dangerous idea. I want to point out a couple things that Strathcole has brought uh, and kind of snapshotted from the GitHub discussion that's taking place. I agree with him on this. This answers the previous questions, and I am 100% against this. In my opinion, there is absolutely no reason to do this, and will negatively affect the overall discussion on L1 or L1 work on chain. There should be a no way a combination for proposals. What does that mean? Here's what they want to do. This is not uh, creating competition, it's not creating efficiency, it's not creating anything other than the fact that we are now going to see combined proposals for all of these friends to make hundreds of thousands of dollars from the Terra Luna Classic community pool and not worry for a single second about being held accountable. Here's what it's going to do. Number one, there's three points here. The Layer 1 manager will post community proposals on behalf of both parties. So Vin is the one point of contact for everything taking place on Layer 1 network work with the Layer 1 team and everything taking place for Hexagon or the Terra Rebels. Both the hex or number 2, the Hexagon manager will send any relevant proposal to the Layer 1 manager for merging. Oh, merging of proposals now. Number three, the Layer 1 manager will consolidate both proposals into a single proposal for greater impact. In the event of a failed proposal, the Layer 1 manager will post separate proposals. Guys, people don't like the Terror Rebels. The Terror Rebels are getting roughly $45,000, $46,000 a quarter right now because all nodes is supporting them. I get it. The vast majority of the community does not support the Terror Rebels. However, the vast majority of the community does support the Layer 1 team. Because we've got friends on the L1 team and Terror Rebels, friends in Terror Rebels and USTC, they are going to be combining these proposals together so that if you want to fund Layer 1 development in the fourth quarter, guess what you're going to have to do? You're going to have to fund the Terror Rebels as well. You're most likely going to have to fund the USTC Repeg team as well. It's not going to be a $116,000 spend proposal. It's going to be a $150,000, $160,000, spend proposal all packaged together. So that if you want the Layer 1 team to continue developing for the Terra Luna Classic blockchain, you have to get roped into, what is this like? Oh, all of those spend proposals from the U.S. government out there. You know where they can't just allow you to spend money to fix the roads? They uh, they have to work in the... I gotta be very, very careful about what I say there. They have to work in things that nobody wants to spend on in those proposals in a very shady and deceitful way. That is the direction that the development team for Terra Luna Classic is taking right now. On top of the fact that they are recommending we steal millions of dollars from people holding dormant wallets. It is bizarre how much of a stretch we have taken and how much of a turn we have taken from building up the Terra Luna Classic blockchain to draining the Terra Luna Classic pools. I want to know what you guys think down in the comments below. I think it's a terrible idea. I mean, you guys can disagree if you want, but let me know. And if that button right there is still red, make sure to click it, subscribe to the channel, join us, become a bro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. Claybro883 everywhere. 6 to 12 free stocks on Weeble, KuCoin and Binance, free Discord. And until the next time, hope to each and every one of you.
Have an awesome day.